This video is sponsored by Friendwitha. Friendwitha is on a mission to make adventure more accessible and affordable. Find one wheels, boosted boards, King Song electric unicycles, and more all available for rent. Or earn money renting out your e-skate on Friendwitha today. Join the sharing economy and head over to www.friendwitha.com. When it comes to buying an electric skateboard, most of us have a budget we need to stick to. In today's video, I'll walk you through the best electric skateboards at every price point, starting from the low end around $300 and gradually moving up to a price that's so high you wouldn't believe. When it comes right down to it, the selection of an e-skate comes down to personal preference. Because of that, my inclusion criteria is intentionally generous. All electric skateboards that are deemed good choices have been included. However, if multiple boards shared the same strength and personality, I picked the overall best and excluded the others. So let's start with the budget segment, which I define as everything below $500. When it comes to budget boards and everything up to the mid-tier price segment, the best choices often come from the Chinese brands. And the larger brands almost always put out boards that have better total value considering not only price but also build quality, parts used, polish, and customer service. After considering all of the products offered by those companies, we start with the budget longboard priced as low as $299, the Apsu Board V3. Unlike many rubbish brands, we have known Apsu Board for a while now and trust the brand. Despite the low price, their V3 delivers a lot of value and boasts specs that are on par with most boards in the $400 range. At the core of it, the V3 is a typical budget board with a Flexi Deck and Ling Yi Electronic Speed Controller (ESC), which means smooth acceleration with tighter brakes. With the extreme affordability, it's understandable that this board is not top of the line when it comes to parts and polish. However, the Absu Board V3 is the best board for cash-strapped buyers who want to avoid buying toy boards from Amazon or AliExpress, and essentially giving up on both performance and post-sale service. Moving the price up the scale a little to $399, we have a belt-driven shortboard, the Riptide R1. While the specs are modest and the controls average, the R1 is light, portable, uses a dual belt drive, and has a fair customer service track record. Though not the most exciting board, the Riptide R1 is clearly the best belt-driven budget shortboard out there right now. And for all I know, the only good belt-driven shortboard available in this price bracket. With a small increase in price to $429, we have three very good choices from some familiar brands. The first choice would be the Meepo V3. Amongst the budget boards, the Meepo V3 sets itself apart for having the most powerful hub motors. If you're looking for a budget board with torque, this is it. Torque is not everything that V3 is good at though. It features a flex deck, and shredder trucks make it a comfortable board to ride on. It also carries the most up-to-date Ling Yi ESC, meaning smooth controls almost on par with the popular Hobbywing ESC while retaining the push-to-start feature and tight brakes. Of course, the Meepo V3 has its own weakness. Large hub motors mean thin urethane on the back wheels, which hurts the smoothness of the ride and leads to bad vibration on poorly paved roads. If that's a deal breaker for you, consider the Backfire G2 Black, our second choice at $429. This is the Backfire G2 Black. With a flexi deck and 96mm wheels, the Backfire G2 Black handles rough pavement as well as any hub board can possibly do. The G2 Black is designed to be comfortable and beginner friendly. It uses a first generation Hobbywing ESC that lacks thrill and power but is perfect for delivering smooth and intuitive control. While it could use an upgrade in the bushings, most of the parts that were used on the G2 Black are good and it has the polish that Backfire is known for. And for those of you who are more familiar with the old budget champions WowGo 2s and own board W1S, think of the Backfire G2 Black as the upgraded, better polished version of them. They all share the same feel to the ride, but as the Backfire is newer, it is understandably better. The third choice at $429 is a shortboard, the Meepo Mini 2. The Mini 2 is hands down the best shortboard for those who are on a budget. The intent to imitate Boosted is obvious in this one, and with good results. 
Using a 30 inch deck with an aggressive dish like concave, mimicking that of the boosted, means the Mini 2 is responsive and comfortable to ride on. Wide 200mm shredder trucks give the Mini 2 a longboard like stability in its ride. It has recently returned to using an updated Ling Yi ESC, which spells smooth acceleration, tight brakes, and the return of the important push to start feature that's a godsend when you are making multiple short trips with it. All in all, Meepo put more effort into its Mini 2 than most Chinese budget brands, making this board a superior choice in the budget shortboard category. Next, at $439, you have my pick of the best budget electric longboard available right now. The X-Way X1. Yep, you heard me right. The X-Way X1, previously priced at $999, is now a couple years old and got a steep price cut. The X-Way X1 has specs that are competitive with other budget boards, but it does everything else much better. It uses great skate parts, like the seismic trucks and bushings. It uses great electronic parts, like a customized Hobbywing ESC with a companion app that allows further customization of your control. What else? X-Way has built its reputation on great design and top-tier polish. Its Apple-like user experience and top-tier customer service cannot be understated. Moreover, the X1 also has a very important feature that other boards lack. It's IP55 waterproof. There are people who have hosed it down with water to clean it, which we wouldn't recommend, by the way, as water may rust the bearings. Its downside? The stock 80mm wheels might be too small for some, especially for a stiff deck hub board on rough pavement. With that said, the X-Way X1 is still the no-brainer first choice for anyone looking for a budget e-skate. It is like an NBA player who has gotten a bit older and moved on to killing it in the Chinese league. Before we move on to the next price segment, there is one last budget longboard that's worth a mention. Priced at $449, the Apsu Board X1 is the best budget belt board right now, while also simultaneously being the budget board with the largest battery. It uses a 10S4P giant battery pack that is advertised up to 17 miles or 27 kilometers of range. Like the X-Way X1, the Apsu Board X1 was previously a mid-tier board before it got a $200 price cut. But beside the price cut, it has also received an upgrade. It now has perfectly smooth control after switching over to use a standard Hobbywing ESC. All in all, even if the skate parts Apsu Board X1 uses are generic, and the board can use more style and polish, it is the best budget belt board and provides outstanding value for the price. All right, this concludes the budget segment. Next, we're moving on to boards between $500 and $700, or what I call the lower mid-tier boards. This is still a segment dominated by Chinese brands, but we begin to see boards from outside of China, like the Ride One Up and the Bustin Hybrid boards priced into this category as well. So, let's start at $599, and here are several good boards at this price point. First, the Backfire G2T. For those who value versatility, stability, big wheels, or just like to get the best bang for their buck, the Backfire G2T is the choice in the lower mid-tier. With a stiffer deck, caliber 2 trucks, and smooth Hobbywing ESC, this board spells comfort and stability. It has two wheel size options included in the box, 83mm and 96mm, which gives important versatility. I also love that the G2T comes with a good Canon LED headlight that rivals the shred light in brightness. And not to mention, the G2T is no slouch when it comes to the specs. Next, also at $599, we have one of the best sellers of 2019, the WowGo 3. At $599, WowGo 3 is built with a boosted experience in mind and they delivered on that premise. It aims to maximize the carving fun and be buttery smooth, and it achieves that by using a flexible deck, genuine Paris trucks, and a Hobbywing ESC that was customized to be thrillingly powerful but still perfectly smooth. For those who truly want a boosted experience but can't quite justify the premium price, WowGo 3 is the place to start, and I dare say, for most, they won't need to look elsewhere. Next, again at $599, a board for the belt drive lovers. 
It's the Onboard W2. With its Hobbywing ESC, Onboard W2 prioritizes smooth control over strong torque and brakes. This and the Flex Deck make the W2 a much better ride than the other similarly priced belt boards. The board also has competitive specs. However, unlike other mid-tier boards, the W2 seems to be a little bit raw in its polish and parts, using only generic trucks and a standard Hobbywing ESC and remote. With that said, compared to the likes of Yeku or the Peak board, W2 is the best belt-driven board at this price point. Moving up the price, at $629 we have Meepo Mini 2 ER, which is the Meepo Mini 2 with a larger battery and therefore more range. And then at $679 we finally have our first all-terrain board to make the cut, the Meepo City Rider. Strictly speaking, the City Rider is a semi-AT, as the name suggests. While it has huge 6-inch wheels that can ride over any bumps, cracks, and crevices, it is not made for true off-road riding. The reason being, first, the airless wheels doesn't reduce the bob and bounce of riding through uneven terrain, making it likely that you will be bounced off the board. Second, there are reports of sand getting into the bearings of the hub wheels and that cleanup wouldn't be fun. So don't. For street riding though, riding on the city rider is comfy. A broad deck and even broader trucks means stability. The drop deck means lower ride height. City Rider also puts priority on stability by foregoing the double kingpin trucks that many AT setups love to go with, and opting instead to stay stable with the modified shredder trucks which still turn very well. It's important to mention that after the recent change to Ling Yi ESC, the braking on the City Rider is a lot stronger than the previous version. Some may love it, some won't. Next, at $699, we have a beautiful shortboard from Backfire, the Backfire Mini. Weighing only 12.8 pounds or 5.8 kilograms, the carbon fiber unibody design is sleek and stealthy, and the boards are both powerful and agile. It's also flight compatible if you buy the 99 watt hour battery pack. Just check in the board and carry on the battery. The downside? It's more powerful than it is stable, and it is vulnerable to water. But, if you want something portable and agile for your city commute, the $699 Backfire Mini is it. Finally, the last board in this price segment is also the most powerful longboard at the lower mid-tier. It's the $699 Meepo NLS Pro. Meepo has a habit of chasing speed above all else, and NLS Pro stands out for that. Of course, besides having thrilling acceleration and a whopping 32 miles per hour or 51 kilometers per hour for top speed, the NLS Pro did well in our other criteria as well. It wouldn't make the list otherwise. It has the best quality flexible deck in this price category and combining that with the shredder trucks and huge 100 millimeter wheels makes it a comfortable ride. It carves well while still being fairly stable at top speed. Its latest 5.0 Ling Yi ESC promises a smoothness that rivals the hobby wings and has tighter brakes and that great push to start that many can't live without. And how about this for a fun fact? With the Inertion Raptor 2 out of the picture, the hub motor on Meepo NLS Pro is now the most powerful hub in the Eastgate market. Cool, huh? Now, moving on to the higher mid-tier market for boards priced between $700 and $1,000. Right off the bat, at $749, we have a board that is widely considered to be the best board of 2019. A board that strives to give the boosted riding experience and does so better than the boosted itself. This is the WowGo 3X. WowGo 3X is simply the WowGo 3, but belt driven. But there is more to this board than just the changed drivetrain to justify the $150 difference in price. With a belt drive, WowGo 3X has better torque, stronger brakes, and an even smoother ride thanks to having more urethane between the board and the road. You can't argue with the parts WowGo uses either. Genuine Paris trucks, smooth and powerful 12S Hobbywing ESC, and a good flexi deck. With a riding experience that many think feels better than the boosted, a performance similar to the boosted, and a price that's half of that of the boosted board, the WowGo 3X is in every sense of the word a boosted killer, and everyone who wants to buy a boosted should give the WowGo 3X some serious consideration.
Next, again at $749, let me introduce you to a board that is the champion of torque, power, and top speed. The Meepo All-Wheel Drive Pro. With four hub motors and 34 miles per hour or 55 kilometers per hour for the top speed, the Meepo All-Wheel Drive Pro is the most powerful production board outside of the super premium boutique brands. Sure, the Meepo All-Wheel Drive Pro is without a doubt more of a niche product, as most people have no use for its excessive power. And there are certainly trade-offs to all that power, namely heavier weight, a stiffer ride, and a higher price that tend to make it unpalatable. But if you need the power, you need the power. Plus, you can always have fun and make modifications to the board with some help from the good guys at Car V Lab. Moving up again from the low mid-tier segment to the high mid-tier segment, we have boards that price between $799 and $999. Here we finally have Boosted making its entrance with the Boosted Mini S and X. Everyone should know what to expect from the Boosted Minis by now. They are pretty powerful short boards that have an agile ride feel and responsive handles. The boards are stylish, but reliability is probably the best reason for getting a Boosted. I think other brands consciously avoid putting out short boards that directly compete with the Boosted in price, and hence there really aren't any short board alternatives at this price point, making the Boosted Minis the best higher mid-tier short board more or less by default. On the same price, but back to the hub longboard side of things, Backfire's longboard duo G3 and G3 Plus also retail at $799 and $999 respectively, and are the best hub drives at this price point. Both boards are very well specced, and Backfire again aims to provide a well-rounded experience with the G3s, meaning good numbers on the spec sheet and a very enjoyable riding experience. They use genuine caliber 2 trucks, smooth yet powerful 12S Hobbywing ESC, and this time a flexi deck. They use fairly large batteries too, 260 watt hours and 346 watt hours for G3 and G3 Plus respectively. As with most boards at this price, their G3s do not have any glaring weaknesses. It all comes down to personal preference, and personally I like the carbon fiber deck on the G3 Plus quite a bit. Next, also at $999, we have a board for those who can't decide between hub or belt. The X-Way X1 Pro and Pro Riot. The X1 Pro allows easy swapping between hub motor and belt motor as long as you buy both drivetrain modules. Not to worry though, both setups are great and are upgrades over the more affordable X-Way X1, namely in power and range. However, the X-Way X1 Pro has again to some extent traded range and battery size for stealth and sleek design, especially if you compare specs with similar priced boards. With that said, specs never were X-Way's game. X-Way is about the user experience, an experience that's better than that of the Boosted. With the X1 Pro and Pro Riot, you get superior customer service, an Apple-like unboxing experience, and product polish. Fast charging, magnetic charging, board auto turn-on synced with the remote, a smartphone app that allows different ride settings, and so on. Not to mention the hub setup is waterproof, and the whole thing is made with high-quality electronic and skate parts. To put it simply, the X-Way X1 Pro and Pro Riot deliver a premium experience and are worth every single dollar of their price. Next, also priced at $999, is the Ownboard Bamboo GT. Ownboard Bamboo GT and its AT counterpart are, simply put, a very good Evolve clone. The Bamboo GT offers great performance, double kingpin trucks, and flexi deck to maximize carving fun, as well as a smooth Hobbywing ESC for control. It would be perfect if only it could be more stable at high speeds. The option to switch between all-terrain wheels and the street setup, which are 120mm cloud wheels in this case, is huge. This is a feature that many buy the Evolve 4, and Ownboard got that down well. I need to emphasize that the Cloudwheel GT setup is much more enjoyable and practical than the AT. If you are looking for something similar to an Evolve in performance and features, with smoother control and at half the price, the Ownboard Bamboo is that board. Now let's get into the premium market segment for everything from $1,000 to $2,000.
First, we have the Backfire Ranger X2, retailing at $1,199. The Backfire Ranger X1 was the best hub AT board out there, and the updated Ranger X2 now holds the crown. The Ranger X2 has lots of things going for it. 12S Hobbywing ESC to give it smooth yet powerful control, double kingpin trucks for tight turns, and a flexi double drop deck for ride comfort. While the 6.5 inch airless wheels and hub setup means the board bobs and bounces more off-road, it also means less maintenance is needed as there are no belts for road debris to get caught in. Give and take as always. Next, coming in at $1,399, you have the Ownboard Carbon GT, which is the carbon deck variant of the Ownboard Bamboo GT that we just looked at. Then we have the Boosted Plus, also retailing at $1,399, and the Boosted Stealth at $1,599. Boosted has been the gold standard for electric skateboards for a while now, to the point where the brand name Boosted is synonymous with electric skateboards. For a long time, it was the gold standard of ride feel and customer service, though there are now more than a few challengers for that throne. However, even though Boosted has been lagging behind other brands in performance, it is still leading the industry in reliability and it's still the face of eSkate. Speaking of brands, the Evolve Bamboo and Carbon GTR come up next at $1,899 and $1,999, respectively. Being as famous as the Boosted, Evolve has many diehard fans that swear by it. The GTR series solved the troubles with voltage sag, which were the Achilles heel of past generation. Evolve worked around it this time by going with 18650 battery cells. As always, they continue to use quality skate parts, something that they have been known for. With the competition catching up in both features and performance, Evolve's advantage is its style, design, and brand loyalty, as well as its better performance relative to Boosted. Continuing to move up in price, we have reached the super premium market segment for electric skateboards priced above $2,000. This is a great time for me to introduce you to our sponsor today, Friendwitha. Friendwitha is the Airbnb for your outdoor gear, electric unicycles, one wheels, and of course, electric skateboards. Friendwitha was founded by Stefan Cordova one summer when he heard one of his friends say, I wish I had a friend with a boat. Hearing this, Stefan decided to create a sharing platform for outdoor gear, and Friendwitha is the result. And it turns out that one wheels and premium e-skates such as the Boosted, Evolve, and some of the super premium boards coming up next are all available on Friendwitha. So, whether you are looking to try a premium e-skate, looking for a board to use when traveling, or just simply looking to rent out your ride, you should check out Friendwitha. Use our affiliate link to get $10 after your first transaction. The first board we have on this high premium list would be the Hoyt Street board. Priced at $1,999, the Hoyt Street is pricier than the similarly specced Boosted Stealth. What allows the Hoyt Street to command this price is its fascinating design. Let's put it this way, a Hoyt Street is not made, it's crafted. From the beautifully fashioned bamboo deck and enclosure, the specially made puck remote, to the air travel friendly battery design, Hoyt Street has shown thoughtfulness in every aspect of the board design, and the result is beautiful. Next up, at $2,374, we have the Metro Board X. If you want a high quality 2 in 1 board made in the USA, the Metro Board is it. Metro Board is one of the oldest brands of eSkate and has been making high quality premium electric skateboards for a while now. The latest flagship Metro Board X is not only pushing up the price, it's also doubling down on the quality, using many parts that were made specially for it. Of course, it also has beefy specs, though these specs are unfortunately overshadowed by the next few boards in the list. Think about this. If you are prepared to spend between $2,850 and $3,600, you can get yourself a Cali board. Cali NYC is a premium Trampa build that uses gear drives. It has a top speed that is well beyond 40 miles per hour or 65 kilometers per hour in a range of 25 miles or 40 kilometers. The pricier XL40 has a reported range of 43 miles or 70 kilometers. Beside these beastly specs, Cali boards are also crafted beautifully with top-notch polish. 
For a long while, Kelly was the most expensive board one could get their hands on. Not anymore. Lacroix's lineup starts at $2,500, and the most premium Lacroix Nazare Lone Star has a price tag of $4,000. Like Kelly, Lacroix is an absolute beast. The $2,500 Lacroix Jaws has a top speed that reportedly reaches 37 miles per hour, 60 kilometers per hour, and a range that extends as far as 24 miles or 38 kilometers. The $4,000 Lacroix Nazare Lone Star pushes the range to 50 miles or 80 kilometers, which means the remote battery will run out before the board does. Cool, right? But if you think we are done at $4,000, think again. The most expensive in our list is the BioBoard Thorium X4, which costs somewhere around $4,150 after conversion. It arguably uses the best parts and components available with the purpose of creating the highest performing e-skate. The result is a four-wheel drive setup with gear drive, boasting a top speed of up to 48 miles per hour or 77 kilometers per hour and a range of up to 37 miles or 60 kilometers. Want to buy one? You can't. They are sold out right now and are waiting for a refresh in 2020. I hope your wallets are ready. All right, that concludes the list. Thanks again to our sponsor for this video, Friend With A. I saw a Lacroix on it. Want to guess how much a $2,500 board would rent for? To have a better look at the charts, check out the companion article in the link below. And as always, if you are interested in buying any eSkate, be sure to check out our affiliated discount page with the link below. It will help you get a small monetary discount and helps us out too. And you will be tagged as an Electric Skateboard HQ customer and probably be treated better. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Cheers and ride safe.